Well, new tonight, income tax season started today, and this is really a unique year for taxpayers. The $1.5 trillion tax overhaul took effect at the beginning of 2018, so taxpayers really need to be aware of changes when filing. That's right, and 13 Action News anchor Carla Wade talked to a tax professional about what you need to know. You may be wondering how the government shutdown is going to affect you and your tax refund. Well, thankfully, we don't have to fill out all these forms anymore by hand, and we all file electronically, and that really should minimize any delays. But just because the IRS could be behind doesn't mean that you should be. Try to get it done early because uh, this I get a refund because I have kids. 46,000 IRS employees were called back to work without pay during the shutdown. But on this first day of the tax filing season, the agency says it will take time to get up and running again. And another shutdown could delay taxpayer refunds. Up until last week, we were pretty much told there's no, we'd get a recording saying there's no one available. CPA Kyle Tingle says it's one more reason not to procrastinate. Get your stuff in early because the earlier it's in, even if there are delays, you'll still be in the first batch getting out and be prepared for changes. The $1.5 trillion tax overhaul took effect at the beginning of 2018, giving the typical taxpayer a lower tax bill. But your refund may be lower because you had more money in your paycheck all year long. Somebody that's used to getting, say, a $2,000 tax refund, because they're paying lower taxes, but they had less in withheld, they may only get a $1,500 or $1,800 tax refund because they didn't pay as much and they didn't have as much withheld. The standard deduction doubled. So over half of the people that were itemizing before will probably not itemize this year. And it got rid of or capped a lot of personal exemptions. And the people that that's going to impact most is somebody like me. I have four children. Between my itemized deductions and all those personal exemptions for six of us, we had over $40,000 of deduction, and now we're going to have our $24,000 standard deduction. While most people are excited for the extra money in their pockets, financial experts suggest you be smart with your money. Some suggestions, pay off debt, put it in savings, create an emergency fund, or put it towards something you really need. We're looking towards putting that as a down payment for a new house this year. Carla Wade. 13 Action News, elevating Las Vegas.